hello everybody, it's Mize here, and I decided that I would tell a story. A lot of people talk about art theft online, and I've seen like some videos of people explaining what art theft is and what is an art theft, but I know that two, three years ago, I, I dealt with art theft. I'm, there is no way around this. It was the summer, and I woke up to a notification on one of my first art sharing websites, Pagey World, from someone saying that some of my Undertale fan art had been stolen, and somebody on Tumblr was saying that it was theirs. I look up this page, and I scroll down, and this person is talking about how much they love their art. And it's all mine. I even had to kind of laugh at one point when they had a picture of Frisk that I had drawn and said, I love watercolors. It's so calming. And I, I drew that with Copic markers. It, it definitely was not watercolor. So I look up and down this page of someone saying that my art and people complimenting them and saying that they love their art style and asking for requests and them just pulling other of my art out to fulfill these requests because I had, I had drawn like a lot of Undertale art at this point I will tell you that that was mostly what I was drawing and then I got mad as one would I went on my pagey world and I went on my Instagram that I had just recently opened and said that I was dealing with some art thieves. I didn't say who it was, but some people asked me and I told them. I tried contacting this person, but they wouldn't reply to me. And then I decided to tell some of my other friends because I was really mad. I went on a group me that I had of my friends in choir and I told them what had happened and they all got up and said we'll deal with them. I was immediately kind of scared because I didn't want them like harassing this person but I I, I wasn't going to say no because I was an angry teenager. At one point one of my friends from the internet actually messaged them saying hey I really like your art and then they replied Oh, thank you! So, I knew they were seeing all of this. They weren't gone. They were there, and it just made me even more mad. But the day goes on, and by the end of the day, I got no replies. This person was ghosting from yesterday. And I mentioned to my choir friends that I'm just so mad. And then one person says, let's just go spam them. I, I'm not really sure what to say, but I'm really mad and this probably wasn't the best idea, but I said, sure. Then came a lot of screenshots of Tumblr messages of spams, of periods. About two minutes later, I get a message back from this person saying, oh, I, I was on vacation and my little sibling did this. I, I don't really buy it. So they began to just delete all my art off and say, I'm sorry. And then they're gone. <laughs> no apology, no open apology, no nothing. Just, I'm sorry, I deleted all it, bye. What? <laughs> Excuse me, what? You were getting like so many followers and people who were saying how much they love their your art and a lot of people thought that this was that all this art was this kid's art. Like <laughs> I had worked really hard on all of that. But no. No, that that didn't happen. They just disappeared off the face of the face of the internet. They were just gone. Please don't steal art, it hurts people. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>